This is the original plan as designed by the architect for the Fellowship Church for Wounded Veterans Housing, Elderly Veterans. And then what happened was we had associated with Herb Strather and he got us involved in redoing the plan. Now we could not change the apartment buildings, but we could change the duplexes. And we wanted to come up with a plan that was much better. So we abandoned the East Northwest Street, which we often do in these urban redevelopments, and we re did the apartments so that at least some of the units would be overlooking some kind of space and centralized the parking. We could not do underneath parking. We tried to do that. We, meaning Jamel Forward of Mobilized Design and Architecture, that came up with the single family and duplexes that replaced the typical garage front duplex that would have highlighted the cars. So what we did was we abandoned one street, we took out the other street, and then we curved it so that we could create something interesting. With the meandering walks and the curved uh, streets, we were able to change scale and do something in Detroit that had never been done before. One of the main issues of affordable or low-cost housing is to hide the cars. The cars are a landscape feature. So we wanted to put a rear-loaded unit or a duplex that was broken up with a garage a one car garage facing sideways and one car garage facing the front and then separate the living areas of the duplex instead of just having one unit that you would mirror and then obtaining the same density as the previous plan with a lot more space a lot more greenery and a lot more views than and uh having uh you know the the just a cookie cutter plan and we came up with this that was highly embraced by both the Fellowship Church that you see in the foreground or background there uh, and, uh, you know, everybody involved. And we just thought this was going to be a groundbreaking development for uh, not only the wounded veterans, but also uh, for the city of Detroit. Um, and we really wanted each unit to be special? What's the views out the windows? What are people experiencing? And Jamel and I had worked on previous plans before. Uh, you know, as far as we are concerned, they're a preferred architect solution. And we just wanted to have something that would redefine development in Detroit and do so at a very low cost because keep in mind those older streets that are 100 years old on a new development they'd have to be repaved anyhow so instead of paving two streets we'd only have to pave one street so overall this is a fraction of the infrastructure that would have had to been built uh, because you certainly don't want to build a new a project with 100-year-old infrastructure. Those single-family homes, look at the panoramic views you've got. Look at the space you have. Now, this is the same density as the proposed plan that was the grid before us. So we wanted to create something that would be a message that was spectacular and really to redefine the, the development pattern in Detroit. Now, when we submitted this plan, we just assumed that this was going to be just a shoe in you know, just get in front of the council, get in front of the planning commission, and literally blow them away with a plan like they've never seen before. The Fellowship Church, who had sponsored this, uh, you know, look what's across the street. It's a beautiful building. Uh, the copper uh, dome roof is beautiful. These views... Uh, these units would have a view of it. It would really give something that would enhance a sense of pride for all the people. And, you know, and, and actually have detention ponds, actually have, you know, modern engineering instead of just redeveloping and having the same problems that we have with all the urban redevelopment is they don't look at the changes in drainage laws or drainage uh, issues. So you just redevelop the same uh, plans that are damaging the environment. Look at the pedestrian connectivity on this site. This, this site, there's no monotony on this site. We're hiding the cars on this site. 
and so we submitted it to the city and the city planner of Detroit rejected it. He rejected it because it wasn't a grid. He rejected it because it wasn't a, uh, from the air, it wasn't symmetrical and they, he refused to have it shown to the council and the planning commission. And I said, you know, this is the United States of America. I could show anything I want to the planning commission council. But, um, you know, this was also funded by the people that, re, it, you know, new urban people that rejects anything other than a grid. So unfortunately, we never even got a chance to get in front of the city council uh, for this really spectacular deal changing affordable neighborhood but we still have the models that we've got to use as examples for other projects so it's not a complete waste and we decided never to work inside the city of Detroit again and this is really what the city wanted this monstrosity so go figure you know it's the planning should not be political but unfortunately it is